Hello and welcome to the Dave Gage Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with Stevenson baseball coach Dave Gage. Coach, um, you know, kind of a little bit ups and downs over the second half of the season, but uh, last week um, you finished on you know a strong note. You won uh, you know one four straight, and then uh, last year's Lebanon Valley kind of a roller coaster of emotions for you and your team the whole weekend. So just kind of take us through like the last week, in particular the final conference series. We did play our best baseball, you know, the last week of the year. Big win against Catholic, and, and Sal's a very good baseball yeah. team. Um, and then, you know, we had a chance this weekend, and we knew that we had to win more games than Widener, and uh, took the two on Saturday. Awesome uh, walk-off win in the second game. Uh, just an emotionally, just a, a really big high. And uh, unfortunately, Sunday, we, we you know, we just didn't get the job done, but um, you know, I thought we played a decent brand of baseball, just that we didn't swing it extremely well. Kid pitched us well. Yeah. So, um, but we had a chance again and, and, you know, finished with a 500 season. So, um, overall, it's it's a step, I think, in the right direction, but we got to keep getting better. Yeah. So, like you said, the record's the same, but it just feels like overall you guys competed. You improved. You took some steps towards where you want to be as a coach and where you want the program to be. Sure. When I took over, my big thing was trying to make us a, a defensively minded program. So again, you know, we lost the last game four to one. Like that's our brand, and, and yeah. we got to be okay that we're going to lose some games because we didn't swing it. Uh, but our ERA is down a run from last year. Our fielding percentage is up eight points. We turned twenty seven double plays, which is which is twenty more than last year. Yeah. Um, you know, so defensively we were a significantly better team. Uh, we have to swing it a little bit better, but I, I, I think where I want this program to go. Although missing the playoffs is unacceptable, we are trending in the right direction. Yeah, certainly. Like you said, you know, pitching defense in baseball, you know, will win you a bunch of games, and you know, it's just hard to consistently go out, maybe try to outslug the other team. And it's kind of like, and you still had some of those games mm-hmm. where you had the thirteen eight type games, but overall, the, the the philosophy shifted a little bit, and kind of you're building where you want to go. Of course, and, and the best thing about it is we have a freshman shortstop, another uh, you know, couple freshmen in the middle infield. Uh, on, on the mound, we had some guys that were young that did a good job and, and showed really nice spurts that yeah. um, is exciting about about years to come. So um, I think this brand will pay off. As a coach, you're, you're never happy you know, yeah. at the end of a season. Seasons come to an end. Yeah. Um, but you know what? We'll, uh, we'll look at what we can improve, and, and we'll keep getting better for years to come. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you'd, like you talked about some of those freshmen, like you said, just a little bit of inconsistency, and that's, you know, mm-hmm. most freshmen, you know, one freshman I think of that was kind of that way is, uh, you know, his graduating is James Rosinski. Mm-hmm. You know, his freshman year, he was kind of, you know, he showed, you know, what he's, especially what he's done the last two years, he showed flashes of that. Mm-hmm. You got to hope that you'll get that out of some of these freshmen moving forward, that you'll get, you know, the fuller season as they adjust to college baseball. Of course, that's what we we're hoping. That's why, you know, we got them in some ex- uh, some experience and opportunities that we could. Um but yeah, James had a good career, and, and you sort of saw because he had the experience as a freshman and sophomore, because he was out there yeah. pitching in big conference games, that that paid off the last two years yeah. and uh, you know helped us to even get where we where we were. Yeah, another kid, obviously like Matt Kerber, is another mm-hmm. one that you know had a great career and was able to you know sh- kind of took what he showed in his first year or two and kind of you know put that over a full season moving forward. Yeah, Mr. Consistent. I think he hit the same every single year or right around it and yeah. you know and, and again he I think he learned as just talking with him was a guy who learned from watching things over the years and, and you hope that guys who played and guys who didn't play um, paid attention to those things this year. That's what great programs do is you know they take advantage of their reps whether they're playing or not. So uh, we'll return a lot next year and we're excited about the future. Uh, obviously, again, disappointed about this year, but but we'll uh, we'll keep this thing moving forward. All right. Well, Coach, we thank you as always for your time, not just today, but this season, and um, look forward to next year already. Thanks, Greg. All right. For Dave Gage, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Gage Show.